finishes off in style. A magnificent strike into the crowd. India lift the World Cup. After 28 years, the parties start in the dressing room. And it's uh, an Indian captain who's been absolutely magnificent in the night of the final. Indians and cricket. It is a love story that India is proud of. But it was not always the same. Now the most money-making sport of India, cricket was once struggling to attract audiences and its commercial future was in doubt. Now it boasts the second most valuable sporting franchise globally and one of the highest profit-making sectors in India. From Bollywood stars in their corporate boxes to the children playing on every street, they are all going cricket crazy. And this craze has made cricket a billion dollar business deal in India. A billion dollar! Yup, you heard that right. But how? Let's find that out. In this video, we will discuss how India made cricket a billion dollar industry. Cricket has been around for centuries since the 1500s. With 104 nations as official members of the International Cricket Council, it's one of the world's most popular sports. When it comes to India, India and cricket share a pure relationship that can never be explained in words. Cricket in India is the biggest and most beloved sport. And the history of cricket in India shows how far the game has come from the day it was started. Britishers introduced cricket in India in 1700 and the first match was played in 1721. In 1848, the Parsi community in Bombay formed the Oriental Cricket Club, the first cricket club established by Indians. In 1911, the Indian team went on the first official tour of the British Isles. India recorded their first test victory in the 24th match against England in Madras in 1952. Later in the same year, they won their first test series, which was against Pakistan. India won their first test series against England at home in 1961 and won a home series against New Zealand. In 1983, India won its first World Cup, defeating West Indies in the final at Lords. And this win changed the history of cricket in India. And that's out. Yes, it's all over this time. Lost his nerve in the end. Did Michael Holy tried to sweep that straight ball with the leg? It's another wicket. I, I think I was totally spaced out at that time. I just took the cup. What they were saying with that noise, I don't remember. I don't remember at all. In 1984, India won the Asia Cup. And in 1985, it won World Championship of Cricket in Australia. The 1980s saw Gavaskar and Kapil Dev at the pinnacle of their career. Gavaskar made a test record for 34 centuries and became the first man to reach the 10,000 run mark. Kapil Dev became the highest wicket-taker in Test cricket with 434 wickets. In 1989 and 1990, the addition of Sachin Tendulkar and Anil Kumble to the Indian team further improved the team. In 2004, a defeat in a home Test series against Australia was followed by an ODI home series defeat against Pakistan. 2005 was the year when the Indian team saw the emergence of players like MS Dhoni, Suresh Raina, Infan Pathan and Yuvraj Singh. A few words exchanged between Yuvraj and uh, Flintoff. That's huge! It doesn't! Five! Last ball of the innings! And he's put it away! Oh, has he? Yes, into the crowd. And in the same year, India won a home series victory over Sri Lanka and drew a series with South Africa, which put India in the second place in the ICC ODI ranking. In September 2007, India won their first ever T20 World Cup by beating Pakistan. In 2009, India secured the first Test Series win in New Zealand in 41 years. After beating Sri Lanka in December 2009, India became the number one Test team in the world. 
but this was just the beginning of their commercial success. Cricket is rich in tradition, but recent changes have been made to shorten playing timing, which has helped boost its commercial success. Traditional cricket matches known as test matches could go on for days, but leagues like the IPL have adopted a streamlined version of the sport known as 2020. These games make match easier to watch and allow for more matches to be played. Hundreds of millions of viewers are now buying tickets, getting memberships and doing everything possible in their capacity to watch this new version of cricket. Cricket has become the most profitable sport in India. The Indian Premier League or IPL is relatively new. It's only in its 11th season and has already generated more money from sponsorships than Major League Baseball. According to advertising media company Group M, the Indian Premier League made 1 billion in sponsorship money in 2017. Compare that to 892 million Major League Baseball made in sponsorship in 2017. According to IEG, a sponsorship evaluation firm. In 2017, the IPL was valued at 5.3 billion according to financial advisory firm Duff and Phelps. The IPL saw a 26% increase in its value from 2016 thanks to new broadcasting deals, the value of its title sponsor Vivo and an increase in brand value for all of the teams. So how exactly is the money coming in? Number 1. Global Rights over six weeks, eight teams in the IPL play against each other in a series of matches that culminate in a championship match with the final two teams. During the first weeks of IPL's 2018 season, it pulled in 371 million viewers. The hundreds of millions of viewers have caught the eye of major US-based media companies. In 2017, there was a bidding war for the global broadcasting rights of the IPL. Companies like Fox, Facebook and Sony threw their hats in the ring to get the rights. And the winner was Fox, which struck a 5-year, 2.55 billion deal for the rights. IPL's popularity extends well beyond India's borders, making its global rights important. Number 2. Cricket Goods and Equipments India is one of the largest manufacturers of sports goods and equipments in Asia after China and Japan. India's sports good market was worth 4.5 billion in 2020 and is estimated to grow to 6.6 .6 billion by 2027. Number 3. Cricket Apparel The Indian sport apparel market was worth 14 billion in 2020 and is estimated to grow to 21 billion by 2023, largely growing on the back of menswear products. Number 4. Indian Sports Media The Indian sports media market was 1 billion in 2020 and is estimated to grow over 13.4 billion by 2027. The sports sector in India, comprising media rights, apparel, sports nutrition, sports equipment, etc., as an industry is likely to go up five times to reach a value of 100 billion by 2027 from 27 billion in 2020. Cricket is not just a sport in India, it is a celebration of dreams, hopes and passion. As the sector gains more global viewers and the women's cricket team is also performing at its best. What a way to win it! Immaculate, inspired, incredible! India, the champions for the seventh time for the Women's Asia Cup 2022. The profits are guaranteed to increase and so is the craze. But while we talk about the increasing number of viewers, we would like to thank you for the increasing number of our subscribers. Our team has been working very hard to present the best possible content for you and we hope you continue supporting us. So you know the drill. Subscribe to our channel, comment your views, like our videos and share them with fellow enthusiasts. And until we meet next, stay curious, stay awesome, Volt of Vokes signing off.